Wait, can you stop? Let's talk about Cody Mango coming up next. This is such an interesting set to me because the lifetime head-to-head, -head, I think, does not tell the full story. Mango was, especially when he was kind of arguably or not even arguably the best player in 2021, past pandemic, he was beating up Cody bad, like yeah. really bad. It was not close. But again, like I said, lifetime 20 to seven, I believe is the set count in favor of Mango. Cody won their last three. Big House 11, of course, one of the greatest losers runs of all time. Off season two, SmashCon 2023. And of course the Ludwig Algren Championship Series five to boot as well for a four and one record in 2023. Like we said before, Cody was someone who said, I want to play Mango. I yes. want to play. Yep. And uh, you know, maybe careful what you wish for, Walt, because this is going to be a rough set. I think we're seeing again a new Mango in many ways, more discipline, more focus in a matchup that he is so, so comfortable yep, with. Reads the uh, tech uh, roll back in, and we already got such a dynamic game. That's right. And Ooh. the drift down is so good, taking a page out of Josh Man's notebook right there for the first stock. R missing an L cancel, it looks like there, kind of a rare flub from Mango, but following it up. Back air, oh, goes for the single hit up air, something yep. he's really been using a lot lately off of the platforms. Okay, down air, yep. Good DI yeah. though to not get clipped. He's but... all over it, man. And if you wanted fast pace, I mean, less than 40 seconds have expired on the clock already. We're two stocks in. I literally took a couple sips of Red Bull before this because I'm like, I'm going to need a little bit of caffeine yeah. in a moment, man. I'm going to need to dial in because this is going to be fast. Cody was trying to read a full jump from Mango right there with the up air, but it doesn't even matter when you can extend on the platforms like this. Look at that, yeah. Mango so patient in shield. We saw it in that OMSA set as well, but Cody's just all over it. I, I, I love that you bring that up because that's exactly what I was thinking there. I wonder if Cody watched the set versus OMSA, saw the kind of patience and shield that uh, Mango's exhibiting, and hit the hard counter. You know, grab is going to do it. Uh, Mango's still able to cover the SEI that uh, Cody uses, but this is still back and forth. And even yep. though he's down, he is far from out. Watch the power shield on that laser right there. Of course, that adaptation was made uh, with Mango against Zane, where he does that high laser into a follow-up low one that he can jump over. The same thing can still apply right here. So patient from both players. One thing I want to talk about is uh, I was talking to both these guys backstage, and Cody was talking about kind of the challenges of having people cheer against you. Yeah. And Mango said, I've seen both sides of this. You know, everyone knows me as the crowd favorite now. And he said, and there's a lot of challenges when everyone wants to win. Well, everyone wants you to win and having to kind of live up to yes, the expectations. Yes. He goes, but I've also had the other side of it. When I played Puff, people did not want me to win. People were hoping for me to fail. And you got to be able to kind of like silence the haters. And I That's think right. Cody, you know, really resonated with that. All right, how does Cody find his way in right here to get this last stock? Mango will get the action started, but not much more after the two-piece. Wow, that Ooh, drift back that again. Was, that and was as far as you could possibly You brought drift. up the pump radar. I mean, he learned that from his olden days. The Mango Puff. Mango actually says that is the puff in me when he does those crazy aerial drifts, and he really made a happen. Beautiful platform play, but beautiful counter Hang play. On. We're in knockdown Cody. season. We're in knockdown season. Not going to be a kill off the top, but the next one could do it. Here we go, what a follow-up from Cody Schwab. Mango a little bit rolling his eyes there at the end of game one. It did look like he was starting to build that momentum back. Yeah, uh, I cannot believe Cody followed up on that. Yeah, I, like <laughs> it's pretty good as it turns out. When I say follow-up, I'm not surprised he got the first hit, but he got a kill off that. Yeah. Like, just the amazing awareness from both players. Again, speaking of awareness, uh, Mango playing around the STI there. I'd wonder if we're going to see a double downer. That has been a kind of more common counterplay as of late. He's dead. Look, at he's him. just gone. Jesus. Second burst, same as the first, the same way Cody found his stock in game one. Great shine out of shield here. He's, he might die too, actually. It's real close. Like, oh. dude, we talk about Cody being the king of recovery, man. Like, it is so confusing to figure out where this guy is going. Looks like Mango just wants to try to kill him off the Blast Zone outright right there, but not far enough for Cody to make it back or even present a mix-up. One other thing I also want to touch on is, Cody did a video recently where he wanted to talk about one thing that every person in the top 10 is good at. And what he said about Mango is Mango is so good at all of the kind of basic stuff. Like, yeah. he has amazing wave dashes. We talked about the amazing drift. Uh, he plays kind of like the stuff that should be easy, but it's hard to master, right. Mango has mastered right. after being a veteran in the game for so long. Yeah, you talk about being in the game for as long. Oh no, for as long as these people have. And surely they pick up a few things, but you also might SD a couple times in the process. Uh-oh, all right. Get off the ground. 
Mango now. Ooh, the the call out of the jump was insane. What a treat this set has been so far, Walt. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm just at a loss for words right now. This is insane, bro. Actually, a crazy call out there, too. Just like back to back. Uh, yes. Kind of like, what, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, nothing. I guess I'll shine you. All right, transformation will come through to maybe break this up a little bit, but Mango wants Walt, the yep, whole stock before it happens. God damn, Walt, that was so clean. Beautiful down tilt for Mango. Mango's making it 1-1. One, one. Mango wants to make it 1-1. One, one. Cody, what's your counter pick? What's your counter pick, bro? Let's see what you got right here. Go He's got to nothing, the stage Walt, we're select. going to game three. Go to the stage select. Again, Mango rebuilding a legacy, breaking it down from kind of what he used to be to the new form, playing different, playing patient. Mango fans love to see it. And this is going to be a, you know, just a banger of a set. But guess oh, no, what? Oh dead. my gosh. Three first blood shine gifts in a row have just been crazy from Cody. He's yeah, starting yeah. off with a strong lead already, Radar. Can he extend it even further? Oh, that was scary. That scary. was so scary. Scary from Mango right here. Look at this. Slow and steady wins the race, but not for long. Oh my god, that the eye on that drill. And Mango has been the guy making the most use out of those invincible ass legs on the down smash right there. We keep it even at three, but Cody with the back air will silence me in a minute. One of the things I also want to touch on from both of these guys is when you're playing a, a characters as good as Fox and Falco, Almost every option you have is good, but it's good in such a situational way. Yes. And what we're seeing from both of these punishes is they're utilizing the full kits of their characters. Almost every single move that they have is being kind of thrown For out. Sure. It's being mixed up in different ways. Look at the shield pressure we're seeing. Can he get the edge guard though? Tries to drift oh. back right there. This game is going by in an instant. Let's see if Mango can find it right here on this open up, but Cody gets the block up in time. All right, there's the wave dash of the shield, the kind of masking the basics, like I said but he's always getting the better side of the scrambles. And yes. that's actually something that, you know, even though Mango for so long was kind of famous for being good in the scramble, not nearly as good now, but great awareness for Mango. Cody getting so much more mileage off of single knockdowns than Mango is. I mean, Mango's been finding a couple two, three PC combos. Here we go, let's see what we can get now. The slant there allows Cody to get that down tilt. That's crazy. Another opportunity presented for Mango, but Cody doesn't get knocked down there. Oh, I love the fair from ledge. That's one of the Mango specials, but Cody calling it out anyway. No pop-offs this time. He ain't breaking the TV. Yeah. It is cool, calm, and collected from Cody Schwab, the rank one of 2023. Ready. All right, going to Battlefield. Interesting counter pick. Uh, not what I was expecting at all. These counter shines have just been That's crazy. Right. Crazy call out oh. right there on the drift in was Mango. That's a stock potentially. Wants to go for the back air instead, but great angle from Cody to stay alive for a bit. And you know, you mentioned that back air. That is respecting the amazing SDI we've seen from Cody thus far. He knows if he goes for a downer there, which would be the traditional follow up, Cody's just going to slam his stick in and somehow yep. stay alive. It wasn't as flashy as what we're used from used to from Mango, but he still will find the first stock either way. This is his first blood of this entire set as well. And I want to once again touch on that idea of Mango kind of no longer being kind of the king of scrambles. And why is that? It's because of ASDI down and CC. Yeah. Now we are in a meta where every kind of unsafe hit gets punished. That's right. And Cody is so, so good at that. So this is why Mango's had to redefine his playstyle. This is why Mango's had to kind of do different, mix up different punishes. And I, I, I like what we're seeing, but Cody playing so clean as well. Just like you said before, adapt with the times, old man. What do you got for <laughs> us right here? Cody's coming through. so much pressure. I can't believe that up tilt didn't hit, just barely gets the clean thing. And Mango didn't shorten either. I feel like everyone and their mom was like, that shortened is coming through. Mango's still gonna find it right there though with the F smash. Dude. Power shield up smash from Cody. Not punishing, but gets the wrong side of the down air to get a kill. Ooh. Right idea with the spot dodge right there, but Cody pressing that long button of the F smash. This has to be a kill, right? A little bit messed up there. Yeah, great DI though for Mango to make him work for that. Traded right. hit. Mango might be a little bit too far. Cody was not, though. Yeah, the percent difference kind of paying dividends, but we're back to even. Mango back against the wall. Two stocks apiece. Needs an opener here. 
but Cody making him just work so hard. This has been a great set, Walt. Yep. Center stage, power shield on that laser has been the bread and butter for Cody. Why not a shine up smash to go? And a stock as well. Just grab the ledge there. What a recovery Mango. from Mango, though. Cody doesn't want to end, though. Cody wants this guy to keep going. Oh he said my, my combo was not finished here. This is Mango's tournament life. He needs to make something happen. Cody Shield getting smaller and smaller by the second, trying to back off to keep that safe. All right. Can Mango stay low percent? Watch the knockdown. This is where Cody makes all of his money. Cody oh hands it over to him. We got a last stock situation here. Can Mango force the game five, Radar? Manages to outlast uh, invincibility. Wait a second. I've seen Mango this one before. Right now. Cody, knockdown season. Once again, SDI up. Excellent from Mango. Miss grab. Miss grab. Oh my gosh, this is so close. Roll Big away. knockdown moment. You love to see it. Cody was scouting out for the roll towards the ledge right there. A little bit overzealous from Mango, but finds the ledge. Uh, That's a big backer. It might be Mango's winner's bracket as well. Doesn't get the tech. He needs that. It's over. It has to be over, right? Strong back here. Just grab the ledge. Cody Schwab cutting it off at the pass there. Honestly, everything came down to him missing that one tech. Uh, Mango hits that. The kind of whole punish looks different. Uh, could tech away, kind of reset to neutral. You know, again, I said it already, I, I kind of been saying almost too much. Mango has a period of transformation. He's kind of refining his play style. And again, I think if you are a Mango fan, and so many of us are, uh, we're seeing that pay off. It's not quite there uh, because he's playing some of the best people in the world. Yep. He's playing people who convert off of openings like that. I still cannot get over just the awareness to go for forward air there. Um, but yeah, it, I like what we saw from Mango. And uh, I think 2024 is going to be a good year for him. He's putting the pieces together for sure, learning to keep up with these new titans of the game, as it were. But my god, man. I mean, we talk about Mango making all these adaptations, but Cody was the one walking away with the 3 to 1 victory. Mango will exit Battle of BC 6 at 5th. And you said this earlier. Cody, Cody's saying, I want to play Mango. I want to play, I want to play every opponent my way and beat them. And, and again, he's getting his wish. That we're shades of Big House, where he had a crazy loser run, one of the craziest losers run ever, and we're seeing it again. Able to stay composed, able to kind of clutch out these situations. You see that openings per kill, converting more aggressively. So, yeah, I, I mean, just great stuff from Cody. You love to see it, man. I mean, he has worked his ass off to get to where he is today, number one in the world for a reason. He's the player to beat. And like I said before, I mean, this guy just has such an unshakable mental. I mean, the fact that he got pretty crazily upset by Sunsei earlier in the bracket, this was supposed to be a matchup on winner's side top 24. Yes. And we got it here for fifth place instead. All Cody had to say about it was, I wish I didn't doubt myself. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Eh. Again, I, I, you know, we talked about this, about how he's kind of like, he's got such a solid mental outside the game that's kind of translating to the game. Um, and it's just something he says, like, I feel like I can always kind of fall back on that, which, which is great. Again, if, if you're a Cody fan, you know, you love to see it. There's an old quote that I took from a, uh, from a video that I made many years ago when I was editing a combo video for then IBDW. And he says, I'll level up anywhere if I put in the right work. And I mean, surely the guy has, you know, you got to give him his flowers for that one. Absolutely. Mango, of course, being uh, one of the titans of the game for an eternity, it seems, right? You know, one of the old guard remaining along with Hungrybox, being able to keep up with the new kids on the block. It's it's amazing to see, and I'm, I'm super excited for the health of this game, man. I love that you bring up, like, as much as you can make puns and jokes about the, the work he is doing. Um, that's why he is where he is. That's why Mango has been having to answer that with work. Uh, Cody is just so diligent, and we're going to hear about where Cody's at because we're cutting to Blur. Let's hear Blur. What's up, Cody? Um, you just beat one of the players that used to be uh, your demons. Um, now uh, it's kind of flipped another way direction. What do you think's happened? A little bit. I mean, last year we are we all know he was taking a break year, and he plays more. I think that people realize, but it wasn't like competitions a skill that you have to keep up. And so even if he's playing friendlies, if he's not competing with that mindset to do his best, uh, that's something that will go away, and you have to kind of train it back up. So I still don't think his performance in tournament is like anywhere indicative of where he's in friendlies, and that'll come. But this was definitely. 
And I know it's like, oh, he's saying that when he won, but this was definitely the best he's played yet. And I could still see all the places where he is substantially better in friendlies because he's kind of slow to make a decision or he's not confident in a decision yet. So I know it's a matter of time before he just starts winning tournaments and owning people again. Okay, I mean, you lost yesterday, but now today your work is, I think, Skurzo to Axe, Joshman, Leffen, and Mango are the, all the players of you being. You're officially on a heater. Now you're in top four. How do you feel? Pretty good. Again, I just want, I said this in the interview earlier that didn't wind up having any audio, but uh, I just want to make sure that I'm locked in and playing the best melee I can. And even on the last stock there, when I got opened up, I had to smile and be like, no, no, no forcing. Just play the best melee you can. If someone's pushing you and they beat you, they just deserve it. So don't be, don't play to not lose. Just play to play your best and that's all you can do. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of your matches and we'll head it back to Walton Radar. Thank you very much, Blur. Appreciate that one a lot. And again, like we said before, I mean, the dude's putting the work. He deserves to be here. You love to see it. And you love to see Mango making his waves again, too. Absolutely. I mean, I think sometimes I feel like, and I, I do want to transition to the players we have on screen eventually, which is uh, JMook and HBox getting ready. But sometimes I feel like, you know, Cody gets a, gets a bad rap. You know, he, he kind of like uh, is a player who is often uh, misunderstood, who's often not uh, maybe always kind of able to express himself super well online. And now I think he gets kind of more, maybe more criticism than he deserves. Uh, but he's a very, very hardworking player. He's a very humble player. You know, he just beats Mango. And what does he say? You know, like, yeah, it's only a matter of time before he starts winning things. It's only a matter of time before he plays well. Um, I think, you know, again, I keep speaking back to that dinner. But, like, the takeaway was, like, because that was, like, the first time I've really hung out with Cody. And, uh, you know, it, the online presence versus the kind of offline uh, was different. Sometimes you meet someone and smash. I would actually say this is more often the case. And they're just exactly the same as yeah, everything yeah, you imagine. Yeah, but I know. feel like Cody kind of more chill, you know, soft spoken, uh, nothing but kind of good stuff to say. So I'm really impressed with where he's going. And I think he could take the whole thing, man. Like, he very much he, he's could. in the headspace to do it. Yeah.